Hey, what's up everybody? A uh, little bit different video today. I'm not down on the homestead today because it's raining and uh, it is like a 65 mile drive, so I can't go down there every day. I want to show you, show you a couple things. I'm going to go down there tomorrow and I'm going to place a few things on the property. Um, first of all, I'm really excited about this one. I got myself a trail camera. And I'm hopefully going to capture and see what kind of wildlife is on the homestead down there. Might see some uh, black bear. Could be a mountain lion, bobcat. I know there's a bunch of deer. I've already seen deer down there. I'm sure there's raccoons. Uh, I'm sure there's skunks, squirrels. Who knows what all you'll see. Um, you know, like I said, there's it's pretty isolated. No people around. Uh, wooded heavily, so they got free reign. Um, I'm hoping to capture some cool stuff, and uh, I will show you some of those uh, videos it captures when I go down there a couple weeks after I place it and get the SD card out of it. So, watch for that, it ought to be pretty cool. I also picked up a just a cheap solar light. Uh, it's got the solar panel up here and the LEDs. I had one of these before on my storage shed. They work really great. Uh, they're really bright. And they're uh, motion triggered, so something walks in front of it, boom, it's going to light them up. Um, just going to put that out there and see what goes on, you know. It's not a security device. It's just simply a light. And... Um, you know, I'm going to need lots of solar lights around the property because it's pitch dark down there at night. There's no street lights around, no other houses. So we're going to need solar lights around the property just to see our way around. So I also picked up this one. This is more of a, a floodlight, floodlight type. It's got a big solar panel there. It also has a motion sensor, but it can be set to stay on all the time. Um... Uh, the picture kind of shows you what it'll do. Beams out a pretty good light. So you can set that to stay on, you know, when you need it on. Or you can use it for a motion detector light either way. So I got both those and the trail camera. I'm going to go down put those up. And uh, for now, until I find a camper or something, which I've been looking, but uh, money's kind of tight. Probably going to be camping this spring in my Durango. I've got a full-size air bed that fits right in the back. Um, I've got this little fan here. This thing works great. Uh, highly recommend these. It has LED lights on it. It'll light up your interior. The fan has several speeds. And on the high speed... I got actually cold and then turned it off at night and it swivels around so you can hang it from the ceiling and it's like a ceiling fan or you can angle it however you want it yeah that was a good I think $20 I think I spent for it like I said I got cold that night down at Roaring River State Park uh, using that in a tent so I got that and uh, I've got a tent already Got blankets, got cooking stuff. I got a propane stove. Um, I need to get a camp table. Um, I've got folding camp chairs. Um, I need to get an American flag. I want to place an American flag on the property. And uh, other than that, I think I'm ready to go. Uh, getting excited about spring getting closer. Enough of this uh, 20 degree temperatures and 30 degree temperatures. Let's get up some 60s and 70s and get some work done and go camping. Peace out from Tranquil Ridge Homestead.